Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks to NLR to provide me this opportunity to express my views regarding the people affected by leprosy and their expectations from the community. I am Red Gopal, uh, CEO of Apal, living in the leprosy colony in Delhi. I affected with leprosy when I was uh, studying uh, my graduation and then bound to leave my education with a fear of uh, discrimination and uh, uh, stigma. Then afterwards I hided my uh, disease uh, for a few months. Later I went to KLM leprosy hospital all over Andhra Pradesh for treatment. This is the turning point of my life. Then the people of our village come to know about the affection of leprosy to me. And the villagers, my relatives, everybody boycotted our family and stopped to visit us, stopped to work in our fields. When I saw these conditions, then I found no way to stay at home. Because another incident, uh, the marriage of uh, my sister was also cancelled. Because the people were thinking that uh, my sister might be have leprosy. So then I decided to migrate to Delhi from Andhra Pradesh. And later I stayed in many leprosy colonies. Thank to God, being educated, I never uh, went for begging and a few amount for my livelihood. But the problems were continuing. You know, actually, the people are living in uh, leprosy colonies. Purely depends on arms, donations, and begging. Though the status of leprosy affected people totally spoiled. And I started to work for the people uh, living in uh, leprosy colony and working with uh, many organizations. At last, after 40 years, now I am in the chair of Chief Executive Officer, APAL. You see, actually, I couldn't explain about the uh, apathy which I undergone being a leprosy affected person. No respect, no work, no relatives and uh, have to depend upon uh, food providing by uh, donors and also lack of hygienic living conditions which is a big tragedy in the leprosy affected people. No proper drinking water, no proper how and, uh, these are the things which uh, we leprosy affected people always face us. How can explain in words? Because only a person who is affected with leprosy and uh, undergone this uh, kind of uh, situation due to stigma and discrimination, they know very well. Actually, main reason for the present living conditions of the affected people living in leprosy colonies is the mindset and uh, unawareness of the people about leprosy. Oh, leprosy is a bada rogue. Don't touch him. Don't talk to him. Just I would like to request the community to change their mindsets towards leprosy and leprosy affected persons. Because nowadays there is an effective drug treatment and uh, a person, they have disease may be arrested by having one capsule in the first day. So the people should not be afraid of leprosy. Are leprosy affected person? 
leprosy affected people are so human beings. If you see the children of leprosy affected people who were uh, living with the leprosy affected since their birth, they are not affected. So why should you think that it is uh, infectious? The other thing, they lost till now the opportunities to, to stand uh, on their uh, feet. Not only socially, you have to accept them, but also you have to strengthen them economically, financially to earn some amount by doing some work. Not only the community, the government and the NGOs who are working in this field should come forward to change the life values of uh, the leprosy affected people by giving them opportunity to join the mainstream. The leprosy affected people are capable but had no opportunities till now. So this is my appeal uh, to treating them as a human being. Please support them and treat them as like as your brother or sister. Then only this disease will decline by early treatment and all these uh, leprosy colonies will disappear if they uh, uh, join the mainstream and can live with uh, dignity.